Hello everybody. In this video I will show you how far the field of a regular magnet extends. And to show you I have here a small neodymium 5 mm cube magnet and right on top here I have placed a compass which has also a magnet in it as you might know and also a scale for measuring the distance. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to measure the distance of the neodymium cube magnet. I place it on here and then I will take something out of iron like these pliers and measure the distance from where it gets attracted. And so right now I'm on 5 cm, 4 cm, 3 cm and at around 2.5 and, and 3 cm away it gets attracted to the iron. And if I do the same with another 5 mm cube magnet that I have here, so it's two of the same 5 mm cube magnets, if I bring them closer together you will see at the distance of around, we are not 5 cm, yeah, between 4 and 5 cm they will get attracted to each other. So you probably might think the distance of the two fields of the two magnets is around 5 cm which they interact. But I will show you on, with my compass that this is actually not true. The field extends much further. So I have here again my small 5 mm cube magnet and here the compass and what I'm going to do is I flip north pole and south pole, south pole side again so if I get closer this is the north pole and the other side south pole of the magnet. And what I'm going to do is I flip it like this and so the, the compass also rotates. And yeah, as you can see, I have to shake it a bit because it has some friction and it tends to get stuck a bit. But right now it's working. And just look at the compass itself, how it moves, and where my hand is. So I'm just flipping the magnet from North Pole to South Pole. And yeah, this is basically how far this small cube magnet's field extends. And if I take the other one and combine them like this, now we have two 5 mm cube magnets. Field, of course, extends even further. And as you can see, I can go away pretty far and the compass still reacts to the magnetic field of the cube magnets. And now I take a bit stronger magnets. These are three uh, neodymium disc magnets stacked on top of each other with 10 millimeters in diameter. And yeah, of course, these are a bit bigger and a bit stronger. So the distance where the compass gets affected is even further. Sorry, my cat wants to go out. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm here at a distance of yeah, around half a meter. And the compass still gets fairly strong deflected or it moves if I move my magnets in my hand. Which is quite fascinating because uh, yeah, I believed and I think most people think that the field of a magnet is of this size is only a few centimeters. But as you can see that is not true at all. And now I will take a bigger ring magnet this is a weak ferrite magnet. These are, this is way not as strong as a neodymium magnet, but of 
course it is bigger and it has a yeah, let's say bigger field. So because it's influenced way much further away, I will move it a bit outside so we can still see it on the camera. And what I'm going to do here is I take this and also just flip it to the poles of it. And as you can see, it reacts at a distance of, of 60 centimeters extremely strong. Just this weak ferrite magnet. Give you a quick comparison on here. It's much weaker than the neodymium magnets. You can feel it from yeah one or two maximum three centimeters away that it's getting attracted. But I can go back even further out of the camera frame and just look at the compass itself. It's still getting influenced by this ferrite ring magnet. And I'm now yeah roughly a meter away. And don't forget this compass is it also has some friction because the inner ball has a small um, stainless steel ball where it sits on and yeah it has some friction to it so it won't ro rotate freely and now i will show you another thing so let me bring it closer again this is what happens with magnets in arrays. So I have here a Halbach array. You probably might know what a Halbach array is. So it has a field strong on one side and weak on the other side. On this, in this case it's weak and uh, it's strong on this side and weak on this side. So I take the strong side and try to repel it and as you can see I have to get really close that yeah, anything happens at all. But if I go a bit further away, like this, not much is happening anymore. It doesn't react anymore at the distance of distance of 20 centimeters, no matter how I turn it. And yeah, as you have seen with the small magnets, the, the cube magnets I have here. These are just two and the Halberg array were eight magnets. So they are not arranged in a specific pattern. So therefore I can go away way, way further, like 40 centimeters, and the compass still gets influenced. Because the field itself has yeah, let's say a different geometry or structure on this Halberg array. I will pick my field viewer and show you. So this is what the field on the weak side looks under the Halberg array and this is what the strong side looks under the Halberg array from these eight cube magnets that are the same size as these cube magnets, these little small cube magnets. If I put them under the film you will see the field looks like this with only one plane of inertia and the two poles. And yeah, the same also goes for these disc magnets that I showed you before. As you can see, they're influencing the magnet from a distance of half a meter easily. And if I have, I have the exact same disc magnets here and quadrupolar array, so they are 90 degrees to each other and yeah we have of course here eight of these magnets and here only three so this should be stronger in theory but because of the yeah of the alignment of the magnets as you can see here this is not the case it's also the geometry of the alignment makes it weaker over distance, but of course stronger in the closer, if you're close to it. But 
as you can see I can influence it here from 20 centimeters away but if I go further away it yeah it stops almost if I go to a distance of 40 centimeters it doesn't get influenced at all and yeah this is just some quick tests to show you how far the magnetic field or the magnetodielectric field of a magnet actually reaches and it, I can tell you it's much further than just one meter like with this ring magnet if the compass didn't have so much friction uh, for to overcome yeah, the initial movement you could see this effect like yeah multiple meters away in fact if you want to see it even better do it with a CRT monitor you will see the influence of the field of a bigger magnet over multiple meters away yeah so I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this so thanks for watching and goodbye